Eaters against Ellis. Pushed from behind, dropped the puck off. Here comes Myers, centering side of the net. They score! Rene in disbelief, can't believe that the puck is behind him and the Winnipeg Jets have scored the first goal of game number seven. Well, the reaction is just such an odd one from Rene. Didn't know where the heck that one was. From a really bad angle with traffic in front, where does it go? Oh, man, wow. how did that get through? It's almost looked like he had his anchored there was his blade. A nice little rotation down, hard shot, and I can't believe that one went in. Right off his stick. Yeah, oh, so the stick lifted it up. That's why the blade was still tight against the post, but his stick was at an angle that it lifted it up and over his pad and in. What a big play that was. After the Hellebuck saves, to get a goal from a bad angle gives you that little bit of an edge. One goal on four shots, and I don't think he looked really comfortable in the saves he made and with the puck before that. We've seen a couple of games where he's had to battle himself back into the game, and I always felt you want to feel the puck, just like the players want to get a hit. Goaltender wants to feel the puck a little bit, and that one amazingly got by him. Ben Sherratt off the boards to center, tipped in by Tanev. Another change, the Stastny line coming on. Stastny, backhander, scores! Another sharp angle goal, and Paul Stastny has made it 2 0 Winnipeg. Oh, what a nightmarish start for the home team here. A good shift in the offensive zone, a smart dump in, and nobody puts pressure on Stastny. I mean, Ellis just simply backed off. Stastny looked up almost in disbelief. And this one, watch his reaction. Okay, no one's coming to get me. And now you've got Rene, can't find the puck, gets off his post, and with traffic on him, Yossi is there. Paul Stastny ended the night for Pekka Rene. Amazingly, 9.13 left in the first period, and Rene is gone for the third time. For the fourth time in these playoffs. And Yossi Saros, who hasn't given up a goal, in the three games that he's been in is on so the hope is that he can continue that streak for Nashville but he really hasn't been tested he's come in in a couple of blowouts look at that body language of that skate going into the room your biggest game of your life to this point first game seven in Nashville history.